Hey, this is Josh from Nomo Films. I got a lot of response off a clip that I posted on social media the other day, which took place in a lake in Guatemala. And a lot of people were asking me how I colored it and they wanted to see how I did it and what the process was. So let's get to it. So I first wanted to say that I'm not a colorist. Uh, these are just things that I've learned over time. Right now I'm coloring in DaVinci Resolve, but uh, most of this stuff can be done in a lot of different other NLEs um, that I've used before, like Premiere, um, EDIUS, Sony Vegas, all the concepts are similar. Um, a lot of it has to do with how you order your nodes. So I rarely use LUTs, but in this case with the Mavic 2 Pro, I find that using their D-Log to Rec. 709 LUT um, is a good starting point to color with. I'll put a link to that LUT in the description below. Let's start. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a node and add the LUT that I spoke about, the D-Log to M, uh, D-Log M to Rec. 709. And as you can see, it just puts it at a good starting point. So I build my nodes uh, before this LUT. Um, so what I normally do is I start with curves and try and correct the exposure. But what you can see here is that the bottom half um, is a lot darker than the top half. So right away I see that I'm going to want to split the image uh, apart. So the way I do this um, is just by taking one node for the sky and one node for the base. I just created a parallel node. So right here, call that sky and then this one I'll call lake. So in order to get the sky, uh, I can add a gradient. And this will basically, I'll show you what it's doing. It's basically making a selection of whatever is above and then it's fading with this arrow here into whatever you would like. So right there, I'm selecting most of the sky. I am also selecting um, these branches, but um, I'm gonna leave this out of the tutorial just because it's, uh, Maybe I'll come back to it another time in another tutorial if you guys like this stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and make it not too complicated for the first one. So right now I have my sky up here. I usually just go into curves and I'll tweak it so that, you know, the sky is brought out. Look at all that detail coming back. Looks pretty good to me. The lake, I'm gonna go down here. And the way that I'm gonna get the lake is I'm going to take the selection here and I'm going to pump it into the next node. So see, you can see here in the node that anything that's selected is just the sky. But really what I want is the opposite of the sky. So I'm gonna go over to here and take my key output and flip it. So now, as you can see in this node, it's just the lake, which is perfect. So now I'm gonna go back into my curves and I tweak this. to about there. So now I have the sky and the lake. In the sky, I'm going to just push it a little pink. Check my scopes, oops, check my scopes. Vector scope, see where I'm at. Probably push a little bit more pink. Look at that. Make it like this. Yeah, and that's it. There you have it. Um, so before is this, after is this. As, as you can see, it looks pretty colorful. Maybe what I would do is also just add a little bit of saturation to both sides. Looks a little bit closer. So I just added a bit of saturation to both to the top and the bottom. So this is the sky before and after. This is the lake before and after, and the whole thing before and after, this. So a pretty easy process to do that. Um, didn't take too long. Uh, if I were to do this properly, I would take out uh, this part of the tree so that it's not selected in your gradient. As you can see, it's selected right now. Um, maybe I will do that really quickly. So one of the easiest ways to do that is because it's so dark and everything else is so light, 
Uh, you could take your selector and just bring up the luminance in this, and you can see that it's deselecting it. Now you always want to feather, so I'd feather a little bit here. Maybe just bring this up, feather a little bit less. There you go. And then I'd blur a little bit. There you go, and it's not selected anymore. Okay guys, well this is the first time I've ever done one of these grading tutorials. Um, let me know if you like it. I'll, I can make a lot more and go more in depth about how I color. Again, I'm not an expert, but I do all of our coloring at Nomo Films and uh, so far things have turned out fairly okay. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks again for all the subscriptions that uh, have been coming in over the past few weeks. We hope you subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.